as you were saying that it's the fried version of chicken liver. Uh, so moving forward, tikka kebab. Tikka kebab. It's the beef tikka kebab. Beef boti kebab. Beef boti kebab. Beef bheja. Brain fry. Brain fry. As you were saying that it's the beef brain fry. Kiri kebab. Then it's the beef kiri kebab. Beef chop. Beef kadal. Beef chop. What we were waiting for is that the beef chop. Okay, so in total we are having one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh, six kinds of kebabs are here, along with two kinds of luchis and one special salad and one normal salad. Let's have a try on it. Chicken liver. They have fried the chicken liver in deep oil. They have marinated the chicken liver so well with all the spices, and uh, let's have a try on it. This is the first experience of me to have the fried chicken liver, and it's good. And then what we were saying that, and if the beef tikka kebab they have served us, they said, let's break it. The onions and translucent forms are visible from outside, along with the coating of it. Maybe they have used the flour as a coating, and let's have a try on it. That's the mutton chop they have served us, along with a special kind of soup. And to there goes another one. That's a full dog fry is here. So where we were, I've forgotten. Like I'm so much confused that where to start from. That's the beef kiri kebab. Kiri is the mammary gland of beef. And uh, let's taste it out. It's so good, but it's a little rubbery. We know the mammary glands which remains rubbery. And now we will move forward to this. This was the brain fry, beef brain fry. They have served us. Let's try it out. From the inner side, we are seeing the brain, but it has a coating outside. Maybe they have used the pea flour along with the flour or corn starches they have used with the spices, and then they have coated it all around and fried deeply in the hot oil. Whenever I'm keeping this in my mouth, it's just getting melted. I'm not taking any effort or I'm not wrestling with it for getting it inside my top. It's just going automatically and in a melted form. It's so good. What we got left is this beef chop, most hyped and most iconic one, which we were looking for. Beef chop, boneless piece it is. They have hammered it. And then they have uh, used the minced meat beef of them along with the spices, and they marinate it for uh, it for a long time. And then they give the coating all around it, and then they put it in the hot oil and fry deeply in it. One important thing: they have used the skin of papaya in this beef chop, for which. It got much minced and softer. I wish I could take all of it alone. I can't afford to have it all because my appetite is not allowing me. Okay, let's move forward to this duck fry. A whole duck fry it is. See. And there goes our mutton chop. Let's see how we experience the taste of this mutton chop. That was it. Literally, I'm fully done with all it. Undoubtedly, they are too good. But if I recommend, then it must be this beef chop. Guys, after having this much delicious fried food items, I'm full with my appetite. But there goes one solution in front of me. Guess what? Yes, this variety of betel leaves all around me. But which one will be my favorite one? They have the menu card, and there goes innumerable types of betel leaves of them. But I will go for this fire farm. Guys, 
I think this one is the wrap for this day. No more today. See you again in another new episode from Das Street Food. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay with Das Street Food. <laughs>